All righty, let's dive in, shall we? So we've got a little Vanderpump update, or at least some receipts, an actual receipt that has been dug up months later now that the affair has actually been exposed. There's a woman who is claiming that she ran into Sandoval and Raquel, who was on a double date trip with Schwartz and Joe. So this is posted by the Bravo Babe, who has a great account on Instagram and on Twitter. And she shared this story. It's unclear where this is from. I'm assuming maybe this is something that someone posted on Reddit. So she shares a screenshot of this story and a copy of an actual receipt that is signed by Thomas Schwartz. So let's get into it. So the story reads, Schwartz uh, Schwartz is allegedly lying. I was in Big Bear, California with my sister the weekend of the 22nd of January. And we ran into both Toms with Raquel and Joe who were definitely together. Tom Sandoval was super sketchy trying to hide. It was a Sunday night at Whiskey Dave's bar around 10 p.m. No one knew who they were, but myself and my sister, we approached them and Tom Sandoval freaked out, as did Raquel. It was so hard to get a photo with them, but we did. We asked where Ariana was and he got super weird and walked away. Soon after that, Schwartz stayed with us and brought us and bought us a drink. Then they immediately left the bar. Schwartz was friendly and bought us a drink. Super chatty, super fun. Joe, his roommate, was not friendly and was trying to hold hands with Schwartz, but he pulled away. Pretty crazy. Raquel and Sandoval were indeed a couple. Um, I feel like a lot of people are doing this now, kind of like looking back at their experiences, be, be it the friends of these people or like people that have encountered them in recent months, at least within the last year. Um, where they're like trying to like go back and, and see if they can catch signs or, you know, catch on to something that maybe they missed initially. It's interesting though. I mean, January 22nd, is before Vanderpump Rules premiered, right? Because it didn't premiere until February? Or was that around the time of the premiere? Ooh, I probably should have checked that ahead of time. But anyway, it made it, the way Sandoval made it seem, or at least from the rumors that we've heard, it made it seem like Schwartz had found out, what, about a month before the scandal broke, which would be right in line with this timeline. I'm curious if maybe this is the trip where it was revealed, but it's also hard because we had Kristen Doty go on Nick Vile's podcast talking about how they would hang out, the four of them, all the time. So I would just think it would be weird if Schwartz is dating Joe, like it would be weird to have Raquel around. And if Raquel and Sandoval are secretly dating, they would want to let Schwartz in on it. I just, I don't know. I am I feel like Schwartz has known for quite a while. Um, the fact that there's a receipt here that is signed for by Tom Schwartz, the receipt is for, looks like it was only $31. Um, Natalie, someone needs to hit up Natalie at Whiskey Dave's Bar. Whisk, whisk, at Whiskey, Whiskey's Dave Bar. Maybe that meant to say Whiskey's Dive Bar. It's unclear. I just feel like the timeline of everything is just so tricky. And where is Ariana? And why was Ariana letting them go on all these trips? I don't believe that there was a threesome. I don't believe that, like, that was a thing that we were doing. Um, So it looks like it was announced season 10 aired February 8th. So this was right before then. So if this was around the time that Schwartz did find out, that would make sense, I guess. Um, but at the same, I don't know. What do you guys think? I feel like they were definitely in a relationship for some time and they definitely, oh, I forgot about their hydroxy cut deal. Remember that? They were supposed to do a hydroxy cut deal. Tom Sandoval on the most extras. Okay. So he announced on January 22nd that he was going to be doing a couple of upcoming shows. I feel like, I mean, he has to be doing more of these dates, right? All, all these Tom and the extras, Tom and the most extra show. There's... Like a few of them coming up. I think there's like one that's like free. I think it might be in Boston or something. So it seems like, oh no, I have some questions. Um, I would love to know if he's still doing the shows and if people are actually going to go at this point. I saw that there was one venue that I'm familiar with in St. Charles, Illinois, that he's performing at. And the interesting thing about that venue, I know because I helped organize some concerts that Donnie Wahlberg did there for a foundation that I used to run. And it's a big venue. It holds a thousand people. I went to Tom Sandoval's show in L.A., a few months ago, and that was a that was relatively smaller. I would say maybe about like 
150 people were there, if that. It was a smaller venue, though. And it's not to say people aren't showing up for him, but just, like, to go to a thousand-person venue seems like a lot of, a lot of, um, a lot of seats to try and fill when you're in the middle of a giant scandal. So, yeah, I don't know how I feel about that, but I'm curious what you guys think. I looked at all their Instagrams, and it doesn't seem like there's anything to verify that they were in Big Bear the week of the 22nd. It's possible that they were, and they just weren't posting about it. But uh, let me know. What do you think? Has this been going on for a while? Do you think that they were this public? We saw them out over the weekend. TMZ had some photos of them having dinner after taping the Pump Rolls reunion. So they ain't hiding it, at least not now.